hospital. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Woo! Hey, everybody, it's the program. Here we are on TV. Oh, once again, once a day. Er, day, a day. A do day. Once a day, da do da da day. A do do. Once a day, do do. Once a day, do do day 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 da 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 da. A dip a da. Hey, Saturday, look at this. You ever been in a Saturday before, viewers? Ever lived a life? You ever dreamed like other things other than dreams? You can't dream. All, the only thing you could dream are dreams. I dreamed a drink. You can't drink. The only thing you can drink is a drink. And the only thing you can... Oh, you can drink other things, I guess. You can drink paint. If you drink paint, is it become a drink? Like, was paint a drink? Let me ask you this first. What is, what, what is paint? Uh-huh. Uh, that's a... Is it a liquid? Can you drink it? Is it a drink? You're like, have you ever been so thirsty that you consider drinking paint? Because I hope not. Even if you're real thirsty, like so thirsty, and you're like, Agua. You still should not drink paint under no circumstances. Not even non toxic paint. Just because things aren't non toxic doesn't mean they're good. Non toxic doesn't mean good. I guess it's neutral. It seems like it's neutral, but what's more neutral than water? To me, like straight up water is maybe the most neutral thing there is. Ooh, there's jalapenos on this pizza. Not too neutral. I don't know if spice is acidic, but definitely not neutral. So, water is extremely neutral, but it's also good. Not like paint, not like non toxic things, which are maybe neutral. But I guess they're less neutral than water, which is truly neutral. Non toxic things, I would put them in the bad. Like real bad, there's like real bad, which is like actually toxic paint, and then there's bad. Like things to drink, good. Water is good though. Even though it's neutral, I guess, chemically or something. But I think it's up there, it's, it's probably the best. The best thing you can drink. You want to drink something? Drink some water, I recommend it. Don't drink paint. Uh, even non toxic paint. Still, bad. It's on the bad scale. On the scale from good, great to bad. Water's great. Paint, bad. Uh, I mean, there's things that are worse than paint, but once you get to a certain point of badness, does it really matter? Like, if you drink paint, like, like house paint, probably gonna die. So, like, once you reach the death level of things to drink, does it really get like worse and worse? You could drink like a virus and then have a slow death instead of drinking paint, which it might be a slow death also. I don't know what happens if you drink paint, but I think you could die, but I don't know how. I think you might pass out though, because it's pretty, like it's very toxic. So even if you just like huffed a bunch of paint, like, that would make you pass out. So uh, I think drinking the paint is like extra huffing. If, if, if huffing, and make you pass out than just straight up drinking. That might extra 
passed out. You'll be extra passed out. Not just regular passed out, extra passed out from the paint. So don't drink paint. Drink water. Um, it's better for you. Can't you just tell? Smoke paint. You say, this is not... A good drink. Well, who makes all this stuff, you know? At some point, people invented everything. I don't know what's in paint. But it dries, that's one thing. It's kind of thick. It's got a weird consistency of paint. House paint. It's like mediumly thick, but not so thick that it's not a liquid. Not like a... Mmm, syrup. It's between syrup and... I guess... Water, but oil. Oil is more even liquid than water. I'm like, what's a, a liquid? Name a liquid. Say, well, water. But is oil more liquid? Water is slippery, but oil is even more slippery. Can you freeze oil? I don't know if you can. I've never seen frozen oil before, I don't think. There's oils in foods, like meat. And I've definitely frozen meat before. And if I froze the meat, does the oil freeze too in there? Or is it just like, maybe it doesn't freeze, it's just like surrounded by the other stuff. I know alcohol doesn't freeze. But does it, uh, what happens if you make a popsicle? You can make a popsicle out of alcohol, though. What about a margarita? Is this like suspended in there? If alcohol doesn't freeze, then how do you make a margarita? I guess you're just blending it with, like, crushed up ice anywhere. Like, what if you mix, I mean, beer, will beer freeze? You know, so you just mix some water in with your, uh, alcohol, and then maybe it'll freeze if you have enough water. That's what uh, beer maybe is like that though. If you put beer in the fridge or in the freezer, does it freeze or does it not freeze? This gets real cold. I don't know. I've put liquor in the freezer before. It's a thing. It's a it's a common practice. And then when you take it out, I don't remember it being like so cold though. It's like whoa! It should be still like frozen temperature. It just doesn't freeze. I don't know if ice still gets, keeps getting colder too. Like, ice freezer or water freezers, right? At like zero, I call it zero. I thought on both, both of the, the scales, right? The C and the F scales, they both freeze at zero. Well, negative 32, no, one's negative 32, right? Or 32, regular 32. And one's zero, is that how it works? I don't know. They're the same, they just like start at different spots. Are the, 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 the units the same? In the temperature? Different units. How many units in one can you use the other? Celsius or Fahrenheit? I'm gonna try to slam some liquor right out of the freezer and be like, whoa! Will it start freezing your guts and your throat? Or is it like, since it's freeze resistant, or proof maybe even, doesn't will not freeze is it uh just stay warmer even though you're putting cold things into it, it doesn't hold it it doesn't hold the freezingness because ice holds the coldness 
pretty good. Yeah. Well, I think it's still melting, of course. But it keeps other things cooler instead of making other things, like taking other things even more. I'm gonna get an ice chest. Uh, cool, what do you call those things? Coolers? Ice chest. Okay. Is it called a cooler? You can take a cooler with you to the park. Ice box. That's what the fridge used to be called. You know, uh, I think it used to be literally just an ice box, too. People travel down from uh, north. With ice for cocktails. I mean, you want a cocktail with ice in it? We're going to travel down all the way from the north. From Canada. Hey, I'm in Canada. I got your ice, but you can't call anybody on the phone either. You're just hoping. Like, they're going, you're, you're sending, sending an ice crew to Canada for ice. And they're like, well, they said they're going to be back here. I hope they do because there's lots of treacherous things that could happen between then and now. They could have gotten sliced up. The ice slicer. Or maybe it's a pounder. Either way, it's kind of dangerous. No matter how you're trying to get ice, you got a big shit of ice. The ice is covering an entire lake. And you need to get a chunk of the ice and take it down south for rich southern cock alcoholics. Cocktail drinkers. Those they want their cocktail ice. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to either use a hammer or a saw. Either thing. Dangerous. Those are dangerous things. A hammer could smash your fingers, break your bones. No more bones. That's no good. You could even smash your, you know, head bone. I call it sometimes is your skull. I'm talking about your skull. The old head bone up here. You smash that thing. You're done for. You're as you're as dead. You're as dead as dead. You know. There's only how many levels of dead are there? Uh, I think once I this I was talking about paint earlier. And if you drink once you're dead, that's it. That's it. So how much deader? It's like I'm gonna make you extra dead, double dead. I'm gonna make you dead. I'm gonna kill your family. That's double dead. Uh, but don't smash your skull. And if you're smashing ice, you know, stay away from your skull. I guess. Whoa! You know, if you're going down, sometimes when you're hammering things, you can hit the ice, but then the upswing. You know, do, oh, do you need upswing so hard? It's not that important. You no. Know, sometimes you get in the downswing so hard, you want upswing and you smash yourself in the skull. Boo! And then you look like an idiot. And you're frozen, you're in the ice, you freeze in the ice. Nobody, you know, you're dead, and nobody has cocktails. Double, double downer, double problems. Uh, and some of those leaves aren't doing good. I don't know if that, how, how alive that plant is. It's hard to tell. Maybe it's, it's not like living, all the leaves aren't gonna live. Maybe it's fall though. Is it, is it fall? Does the plant know it's fall? It's an indoor plant. I don't know where all each each piece is coming from anymore. Uh, how's that plant doing? I mean, some of it's green. You can see that yellow leaf though, like right there. There was a yellow one. Some of them are yellow. Some of them aren't. Maybe they know it's fall though. The leaves know it's fall. Can you hammer down? Don't hit him back up, hit yourself in the head. It's not a good thing. You don't want to be dead. Have you seen It's a Wonderful Life? You might think that your family and stuff, they don't care anymore. But it's a butterfly kind of thing. You're worth it. Well, I actually saw Mr. Stinson. Mr. Stinson said that. He he said that he's suicidal, which is bad. I don't know if you can't be suicidal once you're dead. I'm gonna say it. 
move some calm before 8 o'clock. 7.50 right now for me. Calm before 8 o'clock on the Friday. And say, Mr. Gensu, I want you to live. Could be enough. I say live, so live, okay? And go up there, harvest some ice, instead of getting in the machine. I don't know how those fridges, they last so long. It seems like they need some kind of chemicals. I don't know how fridges, they turn electricity into coldness. I guess all, every machine is kind of crazy, because the thing you're doing right now, you're turning electricity into a video that I've recorded earlier. Using all these machines, and then you can see what I look like. It's this, I look like this. If you use a saw on the ice, how do you get the saw down there in the first place? You gotta use a hammer and a saw, so it's something, but I think once you use the saw, then you want to get the saw down in there, then you can start using something else. Well, they've been ice fishing. They always have like a big circle. I don't know if they have a giant drill that's like that big. That's like this big around, like ring, 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 ring. go ice fishing. But generally, you know, the ice is not safe because uh, there's water under there. So uh, you can get frostbite. You get in the water, you're going to freeze. You're going to die. You're going to drown because it's so cold. You chucked up, you know, you're on a door. If there's enough room on that door for two of you, why are you only one of you on that door? It's like, oh, you have love. I love my life on this door, but I'm gonna like let the door. There's only enough room for one of us on this door, though. If only this door was big enough for the two of us. But it's I guess it's just not. I decided it's not. You're gonna die. You can't just have like a tiny door in a movie, though. It's like what's more ridiculous? Plot holes or aesthetics? You slide through the door. But the buoyancy of the door. When the door's not buoyant enough, it can't hold the weight of two people. But you're already kind of in the water when you're in the door on the door anyway. But if you get into the water, It's really cold and it's hard to get out. Because you're starting to shut down. You're trying to find the hole. You know, if you're swimming in a place that you planted to be swimming in instead of underwater, you get down in the water and then you, uh, you don't need to look where you're going to on the surface. It's all, uh, it's all liquid. Like you don't want to dive into a hole. Oh, spicy! And then uh, get down in there and then be like, "Well, now I can't get back out." The hole might as well be concrete. Pool, like the pool is concrete and jumping a small hole is only a small hole. It's like, why wow, you wouldn't do that? Why would you go ice fishing? Because that's the kind of situation you could end up being in, like underwater without trying to get out. And that seems like a actual nightmare. Like, uh, seems like something that might happen to you if you're asleep. You're asleep. And you have a bad, a bad dream. Nightmares are part of dreams, kind of like rectangles and squares. It's like, yeah, I, could, I dreamed a nightmare. 
you can dream nightmares, but they're part of dreams. Like you can say, try to be like, what about nightmares? You can dream a nightmare, but I would say that nightmares are dreams, but it's like a, a rectangle or a square is a rectangle. Did you know that? That's a, some kind of geometry stuff. I think colloquially, a square is not a, dra tri a rectangle. You would just say it's a square. Technically, though, in math class, they teach you. And they say, squares, a rectangle is a rectangle. Well, all, all squares are rectangles, but all, all rectangles are squares. Yeah. All nightmares are dreams, but thanks, thank you that all dreams are not nightmares. What if every dream you have was a nightmare? And you could never wake up. And all you do is sleep. You sleep. Ah! <laughs> and you dread your sleep every night and you'd be all tired because you're like, well, maybe you get used to it now. And say, well, here I go. In the hell. In the nightmare hell again. I mean, if every dream was a nightmare, though, you'd be more, like, ready. Oh, we better call Mr. Ginsu. Be ready for, uh, anything. Like, <laughs> if your life was bad enough, at least you wouldn't fear death. You would could embrace death. So we got a message from Yellow Fellow. We gotta call Mr. Ginsburg before the show's over and tell him that he should live. Said, Mr. Ginsburg, I want you to live! Here's the message from Yellow Fellow. I was gonna say is, hello. Mr. Ginsu. The organ. Mr. Ginsu, you have things to live for. <laughs> if Mr. Ginsu, I mean, uh, yeah. I think he might have firearms. Mr. Jenkins might have a hold of firearms, which is like a common way for men to kill himself. What? Hey, Mr. Ginsu! So you think you're doing sitting on a couch? Yes. Stuff in your pie hole? Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. You, you know it. Figures. Mr. Ginsu! What the hell? You're breaking up. Uh oh. Mr. Ginsu, don't don't kill yourself! <laughs> Too many. I don't know. You What's don't. Uh, you gotta live. I'm thinking I kinda have to. Yeah. You said in the past, but don't do that. You said you were suicidal? And. That was uh, Red Bull. What? Coming off the Red Bull. That's coming off the Red Bull. Made you suicidal, huh? Yeah. Well, don't let the Red Bull win your life. No, I don't drink Red Bull anymore. Oh yeah. Well, live. Don't don't kill yourself. My back hurts like a motherfucker, though. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> life is pain. That shit ain't getting any better. Really? Well, it, it did get better, though. Remember, it used to be that you were out of de uh, debilitated. Yeah. Well, it was getting a lot better, but then fucking I had to bend over a whole bunch. 
Yeah. Well, you got to exercise or something. Like, do some slow. I, I was exercising. Call it. Motherfucker. Bend, bend over with your knees. Like, don't bend over with your back. Just, like, lower yourself. I was trying. I was trying everything I could. To freaking, there was nothing you could really do, though. I can't really explain it. It is non-stop bullshit. Can't you tell them at your job to that you can only do specific things? Well, they're figuring that shit out. Seems like you've been there long enough that you could be telling them like what you want to and not and they don't want to do. My dog told me I'm fucking not supposed to do heavy duty shit, but fucking yeah. Once in a while, one or two of the people that is also in charge of me wants me to do something heavy duty ish, so fucking. I don't say no. Yeah. <laughs> I, pay for it. I pay for it fucking every time. Yeah, well, maybe you should say no. It's okay. You don't have to do it all. They, I think they'll accept it, too, because you've been there for long enough. They know, yeah, they, I think they, they don't think you're going to, they're not going to think you're lazy. They, you, you have a you have a medical no. issue. You have to accept it. They definitely know I ain't lazy. <laughs> if you have a medical issue, you can tell somebody it's okay. You don't have to be uh, trying to, like, uh... Yeah, well, the doctor told me there's nothing fucking wrong with my ass, motherfucker. What oh, the fuck? Yeah? He says, that shit's in your head, motherfucker. Yeah. You fucking dumb cunt. That's what he fucking pretty much said to me. Hmm. Besides saying that your fucking brain is telling you you're in pain, but you're really not in pain. Um, you gotta retrain your brain or something. Or... Yeah, isn't that, isn't that like fiber? You Maybe you got fibromyalgia. Pain. Fibromyalgia. Yeah. Um, I don't know. My hip popped a little bit more today. It felt mostly bone on bone type bullshit. Oh no. It was like crack, fucking crack. Have you seen that? Have you seen that lure, like fibromyalgia commercial on TV? I can't say that I have. No. Oh. Well, according to this commercial, fibromyalgia is you have pain, but you don't know why or something. It's like there's nothing there. It's just like pain. So it can happen. Yeah, but after a motherfucker says that to you and says pretty much, unless you get this surgery, we're going to pin you together. You don't get no painkillers. So then at that point, you pretty much have to let them pin you together in order to get painkillers so that they can understand that you really are fucked up, or... What the fuck, man? That's bullshit. They're gonna pin what you? What that fuck did. They're gonna I pin didn't you. have to have surgery just to get fucking painkillers. Oh, well, yeah, but the surgery is supposed to help you, too, though. Oh, he's gonna... His pocketbook's gonna say, yeah, you get the surgery, and my fucking pocketbook's gonna say, oh, <laughs> fuck, I he's, had surgery. He's trying to get money because he, he wants to do surgery just for money? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I don't know. The part of the Obamacare thing. They learned that fucking through Obamacare, they can make you come back and back to the office as many times as they want. Yeah, uh, you're not. A, are you on hard, Obamacare though? They're hardly doing nothing. They only do one thing at a time. See, uh, per visit. Yeah. That way you gotta visit more often. If you want to do seven things, you gotta visit seven times. So. Aren't you on the like your work health care and not Obamacare? Say what? I'm trying health care through your work and not through Obamacare? I don't know. I think you probably are. No, I no? don't think so. Hmm. I make more than $13,000 a year. No, they don't give you... So if you make more than $13,000 a year, you can't be on Obamacare or something. You have to be on something else. Yeah, so you're, on, you're probably on your work deal. Right, which is not nothing, <laughs> really. It's not insurance as far as, it's insurance as far as they'd probably, they, yeah, we'll do it, but fucking, then they'd send me the bill. Well, what kind of insurance is that, yeah? Insurance, insurance wouldn't cover it all the way, put that way. Yeah, well, whatever it is, I don't remember you said in your message, so don't, don't do... Don't kill yourself. <laughs> I'm supposed to say that. You know, so when you say somebody, when somebody tells you they're suicidal on the phone, you gotta call them back and say, "Don't do it." Ah, you're making yourself legal. See, <laughs> I can't come. Somebody can't come back. <laughs> yeah, 
I did. Do I, you? I did it. I did, I did my legal right, I guess, or whatever. It is. There I'm you just, go. You defended your legal right. We're you're moral. Lawyer. We're moral. You're your lawyer. Don't motherfucker. Do. No lawyer. You me, motherfucker. So don't do that. Yeah. Or at least if you're going to do that, make sure you're on the phone with us. <laughs> There's a disclaimer. Don't do that. But if you got to make sure you're on the phone with us. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> you. That's hilarious right there. Fucking. Jesus Christ. That's funny. Yeah. I got to smoke a bowl for that one, really. Just yeah. for fucking. All the years of Kenny. You have the uh, the weekend off? Um, I do. I need to call in, actually, after I get off the phone with you. But I got a week off, I'm thinking. What, all next week? Yeah. Like I said, my back was hurting. I said, I want a vacation. And they said, fine, start Monday. <laughs> so you're going to uh, take a bed, week of bed rest? Yep, yep. And I've been on sitting down and laying down all day. Nah, it's going to be just like the old days. Yeah, well, I need it. Because it's like the old days. I'm hurting. So I can, and the only thing I can do is nothing. And yeah. then I start to feel better. Well, or if I stand up and stand up straight and tall, uh -huh. then... Don't but don't use my back muscles. In my back muscles, if I tighten them up, boy, it's like getting punched in the fucking face. Mm -hmm. Um, or punched in the back, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Look out. Bending over is definitely no good for fucking my ass right about now. No, I think I was talking about fucking. Way back, way back whenever um, I was still fucked up, right? Yeah. But now I'm not, and now they're, they're saying they might give me a piece of property again. Because last time I turned it down, right? Well, your family trust? The property? You know, in Texas? It says it gives me property anywhere I want. Anywhere. Anywhere I want. I got it. It's got to be equal to the price of what I'm giving away in Texas. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You're going to move uh, move out of your mom, from your mom, under your mom, huh? Maybe. Yeah, maybe you should just rent that spot. Uh, I mean, if you have property, you can just, like, rent the property. Well, you get the money. This that one and a half dozen, one and a half dozen of the other, and then you get some of this and that, and then fucking what the fuck over? Yeah. Fucking, I don't fucking know. Goddamn, I'm supposed to look for so you, property now. You're gonna get some of that property. That's that's good though. You're gonna get some of that stuff because I remember you're that was kind of a or, ordeal from you trying to deal with that whole Texas thing. The whole what? The whole Texas thing, the oil company, right? Yeah, that, 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 was, that was pretty fucked up. Because they, didn't they not want to give you the money because you didn't want to, uh, to bow to the Lord or something? That's right, that's right. Didn't want to fucking be Catholic. So I said, fuck off. Uh -huh. Ain't doing it. Ain't doing it. <laughs> and now, what, they came around and they're going to give you the money anyway? Now they're kicking a bunch of fucking child molesters out of the fucking Catholic Church, from what I hear. Yeah, so is that is that helping you? Because the child molesters? So I'm glad that I've never had to be a Catholic molester, fucking type. <coughs> For what? Right? Yeah. But I didn't get molested. That, that's good. Not by... That's good. Yeah. You have to tell the. Uh, uh, oh, uh, they thought we were trying to molest me. No wonder she wanted me to be Catholic. She thought maybe I'd be good molest. <laughs> you think they're gonna molest you when you're old? I don't. I probably fucking they're fucking pretty molesty for fucking far as I can tell. 
God damn, they don't molest anybody if they can get away with this motherfucking shit. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think they're gonna molest like an a, a, a adult who's like a... a, a, a oh, you're saying they're mostly just child molesters. Yeah, who, who, nobody molests, like, adult men, right? Maybe somebody. Uh, uh. My uh. dad. What? He was. Who would molest him? My dad. Your dad would molest him? No, my dad would molest someone. Oh, your dad molested someone? Yeah. That's bad. Yeah, it's uh, Was he a Catholic? Huh? Uh, you know, I don't know. There's a possibility, I suppose. Um, I didn't know him that well. But you, your mom just told you that he molested somebody? Um, I'm just making that on um, my own observation. Mm. Of who he was before he died. Don't molest That's people. Good. Viewers, don't molest. That's bad. Like Kavanaugh. Yeah. 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 But. So what they they, they don't they don't care that you're not going to be a Catholic now and they're going to give you uh, the, the the property or the money or whatever. Um. Not them. My mom. Oh, uh, your mom's just giving you some of hers? Yeah. Some of her cut? Yeah. Well, that's good, too, because I remember that your mom, it was, like, quite up in the air whether or not your mom was even going to get it paid out from that. Right, right. And in the long run, she got to keep it. But she now ready to get rid of it. Oh, that's good. Uh, so it worked out, so... That, that she's gonna give me my portion of it, and I should probably go look for piece of property so I can you're gonna switch put, it up. You're gonna put your trailer on it? No, probably have a house on it, or. That's an idea, there you go. Buy me property and throw a trailer at it. Yeah, well, can't you just take the. You know, well, how's your trailer? Is it not on wheels, the one that you live in now? Right. No wheels. No, it's just on the ground. Yeah, I don't know how much you know how much wheels cost to get a set thrown under there for a day. No, I don't either. Yeah, I don't think it'd be that much. Maybe a couple of grand. Probably three or five grand. You think? That's not too bad. That's not bad. We don't know. Move a trailer for a day. I don't know how much. I don't know, but your trailer is pretty messed up anyway. Maybe you should just leave it. <laughs> there you go. Um, well, you do have AC, though. That's good. Yeah, yeah. It's actually, um, you probably, it would probably fall apart, though, if you tried to move it because of all the ants are probably eating the walls. Oh, no. They're just little ants. They just walk along the wall. Yeah, they, there's lots of only them. That one, only the one wall is fucked up. And I really need to, well, I can't say that. There's... Several fucking underneath all the windows was fucking the guy drilled the fucking holes in the window sill. Yeah. So they drain or something, and but they're, that drains them right down inside the wall. Yeah. Like dumb, dumbass. Your house is probably more ants than house. They what? Oh, the ants? No, that ain't the problem. No bad construction right. though. Huh? No. No. You got mold? Not really. I do a little bit once in a while, but not really. We're talking to Mr. Ginsu. It's out too long in the mold or something. Maybe that's just the way bread is, though. Things mold pretty quick. I think that there's a lot. You got mold, or I mean ants. How are the ants? Are they awake in the fall? Right now, they're pretty much sleep. Most of them are sleeping. Yeah. Maybe they kind of come back in starting, the... Starting to sleep, I guess, because I don't see any shitload of them around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're mo mostly sleeping, so... At least they gave them a bunch of shit to wherever. They can live underground for a long time. Yeah. How long, how long is your vacation? Uh, a week. Oh, 
that's pretty good. Not gonna be yep, yep. Thanksgiving. Food though, the huh? That's right, food the key. Yeah, I'm gonna. I never had a job. Yeah. Well, I got paid vacation before, so. Oh, paid vacation, huh? Yeah. Oh, living it up. You're rich. Getting there. You got a fancy life. And if I have, I can quit paying rent. What? Say some of the money, future. All the money I make will be spendable. What the, the future? fuck about that? Bye, future. Um. Yep. No rent. Well, you're getting a, 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 the family fund. That's that's. That's something. Hey, we're gonna record a message of the future. All right, all right. Hey, future, it's us of the past. Yeah, it's us. We're still here. Way back in the past. Yeah. Lid, don't, don't kill yourself. Bye, future. Future. Try not. Yeah, live. Um, well, hey, Mr. Ginter, I'm going to call my grandmother. You got anything else you want to say today? Um, not right off the top of my head, except for get baked. Yeah, all right. After well, the show. Okay? Should I call I'm you? Get baked can I, after the show. Okay, can I call you, what, later? Because you're going to be on vacation? Yep. All right. Anytime. All right, I'll well, be, I'll call I'll you. I'm going to call you at nighttime then this week. There you go. All right, bye. All right, later. Mr. Gintz is getting a paid vacation. Somebody's here. <laughs> who? Guess who? Who is it? Guess who? Who's no. here? Ready for this, viewers? Oh, hey, look. It's Kayla. Hi. What's up? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Real good. When was the last time you were here? Can't remember. It's been a while. It hasn't been that long, like last week maybe. Yeah, right? a week. Maybe actually, I don't think I was here last week at all. Mm -mm. Maybe it's like two weeks. Yeah. Long time. long time. What have you been doing? You see anything on the streets? Um, there's an old lady pushing a cart. She was screaming about something. What? What was she screaming about? I don't know. I think she actually was kind of sad. I think she was like, "I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it." She said she was gonna. They're gonna rob me. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Well, that's good that, she, that she's going to make it. She didn't think she's not going to make it. Yeah. So, so it's kind of sad, but it's kind of good, too. Yeah. She was being positive. Maybe she's in a bad way, but she's trying to get out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make it, she says. You think hey, you going to make it? Ready, I, I can't come to the, the phone right now, but if you but leave if me you a nice, nice message, message I'll, I'll call, call you back, back as soon as I can. can. Thanks a lot. Hey, you've reached Freddy Double. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, I'll come call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Uh, Freddy, it's a program. You can call us back. You have about 12 minutes today. Um, well, live. Live, Freddy. Don't die. Okay, bye. Why are you talking about don't dying? Is that what he, uh, Mr. Ginsu was talking about? Mr. Ginsu, he said he was suicidal. He just told you that right he, now? Not, not just now, on the, on the message uh, before, so I had to call him. Damn. Yeah. That's not good. I don't think it's too real, though. I think... I think when people say that they are suicidal, that's usually when they're not. Yeah, they're yeah. not going to tell you. When you're, like, actually really sad and, like, you're going to, like, kill yourself, you usually don't tell people because, like, you just want to yeah. go, you know? Because, you know... What is suicidal anyway? Because if you're suicidal, like, what's the difference between suicidal and nothing? Because if you haven't done it, then it's not even a thing. Su what, suicidal is when, like, you get this little voice in your head all the time that, like, tells you that you're, like, depressed uh, and, like, it, like, uh, tries to, like, kill you. Yeah. Because you like, you like, usually suicidal people want attention, is usually. Well, Mr. Ginsu. They're like crying out for attention, but yeah, like, I'm maybe they really need something, you know? I'm giving it. Mr. Yeah, Ginsu, I'm like giving helping. you some attention. Yeah. Uh, I want you to live. Yeah, that's a good thing. Also, yeah. How old is Mr. Ginsu? He's like. I don't know, maybe. He's my dad. He's probably like 50, yeah, 50, 60. I think when you really get like to that age where like you're about to be like real old, he's yeah. probably kind of suicidal because you know that like your body's just turning like shit and like everything is kind of like. Well, every day is worse when you're. Yeah. You're about there too. Yeah. Now, every day from now on, worse and worse. <laughs> um, all right, let's call my grandma. She knows about. This whole thing. She always told me she's gonna die. Yeah, I was about to say. Since I was a little kid. She really wants. She wants. Does she want to, or is she just 
<laughs> yeah, but I don't know. She's she's been telling me since I was a little kid. When I was a baby. I was like too young to even understand. What's Wouldn't going that be funny if your grandma? Well, not funny. It'd be cool. But she lives to like 113. Uh, hello. Hello, Andrew. Hello. Hi. Right, where's Grandma? Oh, uh, this is uh, Barack Obama. Barack Obama. <laughs> Barack Obama. Hey, Barack. Can I have a dollar? No. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> Can I have a health care? Can I have food? Can I have some food? <laughs> Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. It's staticky. Yeah, it's staticky. Those are so staticky. Oh. The, the, the phone is staticky. <laughs> Wait, Andrew. A Andrew, call your cell phone. Or I'm going to call you. Don't call, okay? Wait, Andrew. All right, I'm calling his cell phone now. You're cold? There's a there's a jacket. Jesus. <laughs> Sit on your own hands. Where where where? There's a jacket. Put that jacket on. You can put my socks on your hands, but it's kind of gross. There's a blanket. Wait, is Andrew not going to answer his cell phone now? Your call has been forwarded heck? to an automatic voice message. I don't know what's going on now. Hmm. How much time do you have? Uh, about eight minutes. Hmm. Did you water the plant? Uh, I don't know if I watered the plant that recently. Is it fall? Is the plant know it's fall somehow? It's fall or full? Fall. Oh, because it's shining against the leaves? Yeah. No, I think... Is this dying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does the plant know that it's fall? Then, whoa, wait, mate, Hello. Mate. Hello. Hello. Hey, where, uh, let me talk to Grandma. Well, I can't, I can't get away from the phone. Why? The cord. Oh, you're, but well, you're going to... Uh, I'm charging. You have no batteries? Yeah. What's what do you, you want to ask her? Ah, what you doing? She's drinking water? She's drinking soda. She's drinking soda? Yep. Soda's not water? What? You gotta drink water also. Water? You gotta drink hey, water. drink water. I can't even go right ahead. Is it, or is it soda? You gotta drink so water. If you drink soda, drink water on the side. Can you hear her? Yes. Can you hear? Yes. How much you drink today? How many water bottles? No. What are you doing? Hello. 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 What? <laughs> How much water did you drink? I forgot how many bottles you drink. How much water do you drink today? <laughs> Who's that? What? Who else is there? Kayla. Oh. She's fixing the plant. Um, what what are you doing? They were eating dinner. What are you eating? Pork. Lots of pork. Hey, hey, Kayla, how was my Barack Obama impression? That's great. You're doing a good job. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Barack Obama. Uh, Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Obama, how do you feel about Trump? How do you feel about Trump, Obama? Do you want to build well, a wall? Um, do you want to build a I wall? think that we should uh, not uh, build a wall. Yeah. <laughs> we should uh, um, all stick together as people. And yeah. not build the wall. Yeah, that, uh, Trump. that wall is going to be expensive and it's not going to do anything. Like They're going to break through though. There's no yeah. reason for the wall. It's like, even if you even if you want to keep like um, immigrants out of the country, the wall is not the way to do it. All Donald, all Donald's trying to do, all Donald's trying to do is uh, piss off the people. Yeah, he's probably American yeah. People. He's just trying to get the the support of people, but I don't think the wall like. Regardless of whether or not you, how you feel about immigration, I don't think a wall is going to help anybody. 
I'm not going to yeah. keep anybody out. It doesn't really make sense. Yeah. I don't know how they have, but, uh, People will jump on will not work. You know, you know what Mexicans are built. You know what Mexicans are good at building? Walls, tunnels, tunnels. Yeah, <laughs> that, oh, that whole plant, that whole plant is dead. The dead. That that's it, that one. What? The side one is dead. The plant is dead. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. But the other one's still alive. Uh, yeah. Like the main but, one. It really needs water. Yeah, the main one needs water. Is there any water in that bottle right there? No, very little. We should go fill it up in the um, fountain. I don't want to use this water. This is the good water. The, the the plant only gets uh, tap water, not well water. Here's a, a can. How much? How much? Oh, this this one's still got liquid in it. Well, what kind of pork? Mexicans, Mexicans are actually good at building everything. Yeah, they're good. They're they good build, people. They build everything. They're good people. <laughs> Yeah, they're good fine, people. What a fine race. Yeah. What what are you what kind of pork are you eating? Yeah, so I don't know why you gotta keep put them in. What kind of pork are you making? Uh I fried up a bunch of pork. Hmm. White people white people are afraid that they're gonna be uh, outworked. Yeah. They're, uh, they took our jobs because they're better at them. They don't want the free market. Yeah. They have a better attitude. Yeah. If they take your job, that's because you're not doing a very good job. Yeah. Their attitude is, if I if I don't work hard, I'll have to go back to Mexico. Yeah. Um, that's mean. <laughs> no, that sounds just bad. No, I don't know. If they don't work hard, then my family is not supported. Yeah, you got to work hard. If you don't work hard, then you're just like a bad person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you, uh, what do you, uh, what kind of pork is it? Trops? Pork slices. It said uh, pork. I got it from the commissary. It said pork for scallopini. What is scallopini? Scallopini, huh? Yeah. Is it medallions? No. I don't know. I think I feel like that's some kind of Italian food. What is scallopini? Sounds like Italian to me. You know what? Yeah, me too. You know what scallopini is, Kayla? <laughs> Scallopini. How much water? You, um, grandma, th grandma thinks it's beef. What? She thinks it's beef. No, it's pork. Yeah, but what does she say? I don't know. She doesn't know what it is. She doesn't know if it's beef or pork. Yeah, I should just look it up. She doesn't eat it anyway. This is pork. She wants to look it up. Or are you gonna feed the 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 poodle? What? There's water in there. You can see the water in the, uh, on the camera. Um, how'd you cook it? On the stove. Well, on the on the pan fry. Yeah, pan, pan fry. Right. And what's a little port? It's like. Goodbye. Uh, Bye. He's gonna eat, eating the pork. Uh, that one is green though. You're gonna remove. Oh, you're gonna you're try to transplant it right into the water. Is that gonna be good? You just pulled off a healthy leaf. The hydroponic. You can put it right in the water. Is that good for it? Needs the dirt. Why don't you put the other end of the dirt, one end in the water, one end in the dirt? Well, we'll see if it grows out from the poodle. The other one died, I guess. But I think that one plant looks still pretty alive, to me. Like the the big one, like the main one, yeah. seems pretty green. Like not that un, not un green or anything. Well, it's the end of the show. We only have about three minutes left. I'm trying to remember what I was talking about. Hey, what's that park? You know those park? There's like Burfoot Park. Yeah. Priest, well, Point. Priest Point. It is Priest Point. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Like in the beginning of the show, I was talking about something about uh, uh I don't know what it was anymore. Oh, getting ice. You ever, you ever got, you ever got tried to get ice out of a, uh, like a pond. You know, like a pond with ice in it. You know, before they had freezers, you had to go up north to get ice out of the ponds. Never heard of it. Like that's how they, how they got ice. They didn't have freezers before. You know how they get electricity. You know how you take a free, like a you, you plug in a freezer. Somehow the electricity turns, or the freezer 
It turns electricity into freezy stuff. Uh, no, uh, no, because it's like, what is? Where is the cold coming from? Coming from like electricity, like the freezer. Yeah. You think about a freezer, it like takes electricity and then it turns it into cold. And it's like, how does that happen? Yeah. You know, because electricity is not is hot, right? Electricity is hot. I think. Yeah. When you think of electricity, it's like, whoa, that's hot. You know, it's like glowing. It start on fire. You know, you you, you can have lightning. And the lightning hits a tree. That tree is gonna, it's gonna catch on fire, fire, fire. It's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna freeze or anything. Yeah. And somehow the freezer turns it into cold, which is like the opposite of what the electricity is. I don't really understand it. I was trying to figure it out. And I don't know you go up there to the pond when they have it frozen. It's cold, and we gotta bring it back down. But it starts to melt. You lose half your ice on the way down. And then you had to put the the ice for rich people's cocktails when you're trying to. Do that thing, but you might accidentally hit yourself in the face with a hammer if you're trying to hammer the thing on the upswing. So when you're hammering, you know, slow upswing, quick downswing. That's the trick. Here's the show. It's over. We made it. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's Saturday. We're on TCTV channel 22 at 11.30 and 2 a.m. Check it out, YDHWM.com, yeah. 360 8364 call and leave a message, get on TV. 109th State Avenue, number three, yes, check it out. Bram Bram, it's a good song, thank you. TCTV, La Bebe, Jordi, Fabulous, Bram Bram, South by Clowns, I'm Lister, Tisco, Washington State, USA, thank you, and viewers, it's you, you're watching, thank you. Hell yeah, dog! Bye!